Hi and welcome to Wake Up My Guam. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, let's get ready for work. It is um, morning, but not too early because we got uh, a little bit of hustle. We got to hustle a little bit uh, to get ready on time. This dress is from Topsy Curvy. It is a UK brand. It is super stretchy, very comfortable. There are pockets. Um, and I love it so much. Uh, costs a, a, a pretty penny to get uh, a shipment here to the United States, but uh, considering I can't find anything this comfy and this adorable, I will pay that price. So anyway, Topsy Curvy in the UK. Let's do a unicorny eye because why not? So I've I pulled um some new Clarity Cosmetics singles uh that I have and I'm going to I'm gonna go ham today. I also pulled my spring singles uh that I'm using because I probably want you know some of this goodness in there as well so let's do that on the old eyes today and I figure we might as well do our whole face together because why not and let's just get ready so um I've got a couple of new things that are hanging out uh some things that are not super new this one is new this is from AOA Studio this is their new pore filling primer um so the clear silicone primer thing I tried it yesterday uh so far so good I get about a blob about that much and I have visible pores like you know everybody does uh mine are here right around my nose on my nose um a little bit on my chin not like a ton but uh, enough I don't typically use a pore filling primer um like on the daily because I just don't care enough but I am more than happy to uh to use one if I have one. So this one I think is like a, probably a Smashbox dupe, you know, for their pore filling, whatever it's called, photo, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um, let me get a wipe before we start because I'm going to get it everywhere. So the hair's a little wild and we'll probably end up fixing it more better than uh, it is now for work. But for now, it's out of my face, which is what matters. Um, I did curl it. Is there sometimes I can't tell sometimes if there's something in my hair or if it's like a gray silver hair shining. Like I'll go and look, oh, there's something. No, that's just the hair catching the anyway. So I have tinsel hair because it's I'm going gray in a wonder. I love it. I don't color my hair purple to cover the gray. Um, I'm super excited. I wish my whole head was gray, but it's not. Um, but anyway, so I have purple slash a little bit of silver hair. It's, it's wild. Anyway, that day two of using that so far so good. Um, it's not a full ounce. It's like point, it's 25 mils. So 0.85, um, of an ounce. So yeah, there's that. It's, I mean, it does a pretty good job of filling pores, I would say. They're less noticeable um, with that primer on. There she is. Um, I have, I've gone back to, like, I've started, we'll just talk about life in general. This has no theme. Um, this video has no theme, except that we're hanging out and doing makeup. Anywho, I've started back using some retinol um, at night, so that's that's happening. I ho I really, there's some sunspots that I want to like fade. I don't hate all the freckles, question mark, but I don't love the bigger sunspots. Like this one is like, I don't know, this one's getting, they, they get conglomerated. Like all of the freckles join together to form a club. <laughs> Don't necessarily want to join that club. You know what I'm saying. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and prime eyes. This is the P. Louise um, base and we'll just do a squadge and smear that on and then blend that in. I did wet my sponge today because I was feeling fancy. Um, I don't know why I can't be bothered 
half of the time not to wet my sponge. There, there could be a sink probably in this room and I still wouldn't wet my sponge half of the time because I'm just that girl. I just can't, you know, just the possum life of, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Um, all right. So let's, let's see what has, what has been, isn't it, that blend beautifully? So pretty. Um, that P. Louise base will last you forever and they come in two sizes. I'll show you because if you care, you might not, I don't know. Um, so they have small, which is again, last your lifetime. I don't know why I got the big giant one. I think it was on sale. Um, this one's black obviously. And this one is in 0 0.5. Um, I have 1.0 and zero as well, because who doesn't need a collection of eye primers that will last a lifetime? It's okay. I'll go into my sarcophagus, like all the good pharaohs, and have my eye primers in the afterlife. It's going to be fine. Okay, there's that. Do we want to do eyes first today? I don't hardly ever do eyes first. Why don't we? And let's see. Because if we get fallout, then we don't care, right? Right. Let's do eyes first today. Why not? Shall we do brows before eyes? Yes. Yes. I was thinking about it. Um, I have not used like a legitimate like pencil pen kind of thing. Let's use, this is a She Glam. It's like half pencil, half pen. Let's use this today. My sink is, um, it needs attention. It's been in my, it's my, technically in my guest bathroom, but it's my bathroom, you know? Um, and it's burbling. <laughs> So I think it might be time for Mr. Mugwomp to get the old sink snake out. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Not really, but it's a, it's a family affair. The other half is a marker. And he, when he pulls out like wads of my hair out of a drain, this is disgusting, but welcome to my channel. Um, for some reason, he calls it a muskrat. He always has. So it's time for him to go muskrat hunting in the old bathroom sink. I don't do, it's not terrible. Like, it's not like backed up, backed up, but it will be. Like, I can tell it's starting to like have a, it's having a moment. So this is not a bad little marker. Um, this is Shein's beauty brand, She Glam. Uh, I don't know that there's a color. It's probably the brown. Anyway, there that. There that is. And whew. okay. So let's let's talk Clarity Cosmetics singles. These are like stunning, uh, stunning. I mean, so beautiful. And I got a few of these last month, and then I got a new load. <laughs> I think they had another sale. I can't help myself. They're just, they they do ama amazing shadows. Here's another one. Uh, this one's more neutral. I think that one might be, a, I think that one's a JD, I mean, a Give Me Glow, but the other ones are all Clarity Cosmetics. I mean, it's just beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. Uh, so we're going to, uh, we're going to use a combo of those and some things like this matte cream we'll use. Probably this lilac -y color. These are Give Me Glow as well. I just, I'm, I'm loving the indie shades for the, the, the sparkle, the shine, the special. Like, it, they are just doing so much better than any mainstream makeup company for just special, beautiful shades. You know, multi-chromes, they, you know, the topper shades that flash different colors. That's just a matte cream. It's just, it's just beautiful. Okay, I think I'm gonna go this matte pink for the, I'm gonna call it the transition, but it'll be crease and higher. And then we'll go a little bit into the crease with that true lilac shade. I did buy the ColourPop Lavender whole shebang. I am, I haven't bought a whole ColourPop collection in probably two years. 
but every single piece of that lilac collection I would absolutely wear. The lip glosses, the super shocks, all of them. Um, the palette, the highlighter, it's just, they're, it's every bit of it is gorgeous. And seeing the swatches of folks that got it in PR who are saying like, oh, it's really cool tone and there's not much, none of this, it's more pastel and not a ton of color payoff. That's what I would like. That's what I want. I have plenty of shades, plenty of shades that give me tons of, of color payoff and pigment. I really like um, being able to build up a shade, but also being able to just throw a wash of color on. When you're fair, it's it that's the one thing that's nice is that you get to use shades that people are like there's there's you know there's less pigment or what lovely pastels beautiful they look great okay there's that pink color super light in the upper transition into that matte cream i think we got a good blend and no harsh lines i like that okay a little bit dusty in the pan but not too bad okay i would see and I, I th these two are still the smaller pans are clarity but so they do have smaller pans um but some of their shades either if they've sold out in the larger pan or whatever i would prefer to have the larger pan because that means more eyeshadow for me okay let's use that purple that lilac shade that's in my singles for the springtime these are pulled from depotted um palettes and also just uh singles that come single i also buy singles or i have bought from makeup geek i have a ton of sydney grace um because i get their like mystery bags or whatever i've gotten those for for quite a while and i love being able to put together a palette myself and like design it myself for what I want to be matte, what I want to be shimmer, things like that. I think that's really cool. Okay, I'm going to go back into that pink a little bit and make sure we didn't lose it up here. I don't normally spend a ton of time on my eye looks um, like during the week, but sometimes I just wake up feeling froggy and creative. And today I did. I woke up feeling froggy. And so jump, froggy jump. That's, that's what we're going to do today. I did look at my calendar real quick before I started filming to make sure that I wasn't like client facing today in a boardroom because while I don't give two flying fahoots about anyone's appearance, some people do. My company's really good about not, they, they have, uh, I mean, they have like, our dress code is something like, don't wear anything offensive. That's a, basically our dress code, which is not too bad. I mean, I think that's, fair to ask at your job is to not wear something that is explicitly offending everyone on purpose. So <laughs> I'm okay with that as dress code. Um, I've had my hair um, many different colors working here um, and I have not had a sing and my like my headshot, the whole thing, like I have not had a single negative thing. And I work um, in healthcare revenue and IT at some point parts of my job and that is it's nobody nobody has said a thing so thank you for 2023 being a time where we can wear what we want dress how we want look how we want and not have the bs of it all like who cares i remember being 19 years old i guess 20 years old something like that and applying at bath and body works in the mall and in that in that interview process we were interviewed in a group um there were like five or six of us I remember and we had to do we had to like listen to some things uh we took a test um we went uh like individually and had to sell a thing so they just passed out like office supplies I got a pen so I had to sell the pen um and like things like that in this interview it was it was fascinating interview. It was, it's the only one that I've ever been on that was like that. Um, and I, I know that I did well on the test because they graded it and I didn't miss any. So that was not a bad thing. Um, but I got turned down for the job and they actually gave me feedback, which is very rare. 
Um, but they, they said that, um, everything was great, except I didn't look Americana enough. I didn't look Americana enough. Now my hair was not purple at the time. It was brown, but I didn't look Americana enough. And I thought, but I am American. <laughs> Put me in a denim t-shirt, I mean, a denim button down and an apron at the Bath and Body You cannot find somebody who could, I would sell Bath and Body Works to somebody with no smell. I'm telling you, I love it so much. I've always loved it. They could have not found a better retail salesperson than me, but they lost, the, they lost one that day. I wasn't Americana enough. And it stuck with me like that. The idea that um, the way that I looked precluded me from getting that job. I don't like that. I don't like it. Okay, there's the blend and I think it's beautiful. I went back and forth between the lavender lilac -y color and that pink and just a little bit of the cream right up. It's beautiful. It may be too much color that high up for you. I have very hooded eyes. If I look straight ahead, there's very little color showing. So it has to be built up that high for me to be able to see it. And I like seeing my color. Okay, so I have a variety of shimmers that I can choose from and I want them all, let's be honest. Um, I don't think I'm going to go darker on the outer corners. Like I don't, you know, that's typically how I would build an eye look is go, you know, darker in the outer corner. I don't think I'm going to do that today. Sometimes I just do all light colors because I feel like that. It goes with my outfit. My tights, you cannot see, but they are snag tights and they are like baby pink. Ah, uh, baby pink. And so, um, and I'll wear my, I got, have a pair of Air Force Ones that, um, they're, they're, uh, uh, lavender swoosh. So I'll wear those. Um, not that anyone will see because I work from home and they only see this much of me, but I'll know that I look adorable. And that's part of, that's part of what I like dressing how I like is because I like the way that I look. I feel comfortable and I like it. And so it does make me feel more confident in what I'm doing if I feel good. So that's why I do all the things. Okay. But what shimmers? I'm I'm can you, I'm stalling because I don't want to choose. Also, Mr. Mugwant had better take out my trash and my recycling. I say better. I would love it if he did that this week. Let's see if he does. Um, he usually does really, really well with things like that. But he's neglected me for a week or two. Okay, I think this might be the shimmer. This is Of Quartz You Can from Clarity Cosmetics. Like, you can't even with the reflective beautifulness. There's a a fuzzy. Oh, I gotta tell you the story of my Sonic uh, ice cream. So I was, so I will order, I'm nuts. So send me Sonic gift cards. I, I don't really need them, Um, but I'm addicted. So I order Sonic for drinks. And I say order because a lot of times it is DoorDash um, because I can't be bothered. And also I work from home and I don't really get a break in the middle of the day. Um, well, let me clarify. I don't like schedule a break for me in the middle of the day. So a lot of times I will order like lunch or even breakfast and eat it as lunch, whatever. You don't care. Except we're talking. So anyway, so I will do uh, a Sonic order for drinks and I'll do like several drinks in one order. So I'll get, you know, if I want like a soda, I'll get a soda, I'll get an iced tea for like later, and then I'll get cups of ice because you can order those. I can't buy bags of ice on like DoorDash, but I can order cups of ice for like 50 cents or 55 cents or something, and then chuck those in the freezer. And then later I'll use that for like my little water flavor packets and have beautiful Sonic ice and enjoy myself even later that week. So I've got Sonic ice cups in there from last week. Long story long, I also sometimes will occasionally go, you know, I'd like their cookie dough, like ice cream blast blizzard thing or whatever they're called there. There's also another hair. So I order one and I throw it in the freezer and I don't eat it for like several days or I will eat a little bit on this day and then a little bit on that day, that kind of thing. Like I don't eat it all at once, but anyway. So I have like the one ice cream that I want and then I eat it as I go. I was eating my cookie dough and there was a hair in it and it wasn't mine and it wasn't Mr. Mugwump's. So I had to let it go and try not to 
gag. It was terrible. I am normally like very unlucky. If anybody's going to have like a hair in their food or an issue like that, it's going to be me. It's just, all. it's always going to be me and it sucks. But anyway, this one was like that. Okay. I'm going to put another super sparkle on the inner corner and go up with it. it there are, I mean, these have like, it's just beautiful. This super sparkle is called, do we have a problem? It is, I mean, you can't, you can't even, it's just, it's beyond beautiful. And you need like the tiniest amount. And it, it's just, the impact is so gorgeous. So the, I think this is like what I have learned in 2023 is order the shade you want like buy the eyeshadow that you want from like and if it if it costs it costs like I would rather have a shade like this that is everything I want in an eyeshadow and then pair it with any of my other existing palettes to make what I want and I have enough to make what I want I just like these these very special shades I I've like empowered myself to like just buy that one shade, right? Just buy the one that you want and then you're good to go. You don't need the whole palette. You just need that shade and make, then make your own, build your own palette. I think that's what I have come to love about my collection is that I can build my own palettes and use them. I don't, I don't have to have one palette on my vanity. I will use three palettes to get the look that I want and to be okay with that. Look, I don't, I'm not looking for the perfect palette. I hope that makes sense. Okay. I think that is absolutely stunning. I think that is so, so beautiful. I think it's absolutely perfect. Okay. I'm going to stop there before I go super ham. I will do an inner corner, inner corner like crazy, but let me just clear up anything that fell down. Not a lot actually, which is great. When I use my fingers to put on shimmers, I will get like, especially down underneath. It's because my own finger has like shimmer all over it. And I'll get that a little messy, but that's application because I don't want to use a brush, not specifically the fallout. Okay, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's do the rest of our face. Let's get busy with it. Okay, so primer is on, right? Yeah, we did that already. <laughs> Let's get, okay, I've used a couple of new like foundation-y things um, and I need to go back to using some of my older foundations because I have abandoned them and I was like in the process of using them up. So one of those examples is the KVD Vegan Whatever Whatever Good Apple Foundation Balm. I got the hair. And this is in the shade 012. It's way too dark. I have stirred it up, you will see, because it was like way in the corners. I mix it with the light 002, which is way too light for me. And I have been doing that in order to use up the 012. Essentially, I am shade 6, 006. That is my shade. I have way too light and way too dark. We make them kith. And then I, that's it. Like that's what I use. So I'll get a little bit of each on my brush. This is not scientific in the least. And then go to town. But I need to start like using up, go back to using up some of my products because I have been trying all kinds of new foundations and such. And that's, it's, that's okay. It's the joy of doing makeup and having fun doing makeup, which is one of the things that I really love in my life. So I'm not like mad at myself, but I do want to go back to what I was doing, which is getting through some of my products that I have a goal to get through. There's so very little product that you need of this foundation that it takes a good long while, which is good. It's a good value for your money, but it takes forever to use up. And that's the part that it's annoying. Okay, put some up there. Scrub some down here. I will get a sponge in just a second and 
blend it in. That's my one trick with a foundation balm. It's not really a trick. It's just my application method. Is do a pre-blend or blend it in with a, with a brush and then go over it with a sponge for the finish. This lasts all day on me. I know that this went like crazy viral when it first went out, first came out and then as folks were buying it, they didn't know either whose skin type this was for or the application was all crazy. And then there was a backlash on it. Like it's not as good as people say. It is as good as people say if it's for you. Not all foundations are for you. And if it's not for you, but you still want to use it, then you have to figure out a way that makes it work for you. And I have normal, I can get oily in my T-zone, but not like super duper oily. So I have normal skin and this is perfect for me. Foundation bombs are perfect for me. They truly are. I'm not dry. I don't have, I don't need more moisture, but if I wear a foundation that has a lot of moisture in it, my like a serum foundation or what, totally fine. Um, if I have a drier foundation, totally fine. I can wear a powder foundation, doesn't matter, which is wonderful. And that's another advantage to having my skin type, but it looks so good. Gosh, I love that. Love that. Okay. Concealer. Um, let's use this one. This is from Go Go Tales. It's got a little donut on it. Um, I think I got this from Chic Decent. Can't quite remember, but it's a nice shade. I think it was Chic Decent, which is an Asian beauty brand website which I really like Asian beauty brands for all things I guess skincare mainly but also I do wear makeup that is made in Korea Japan even China there's some beautiful Chinese brands okay love it Let's get some powder. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Whatever Whatever for that. I'm going to use my new Made by Mitchell brush. This is the MF2, I think. Yeah, that's about right for under eye. It's too big for an eye brush. To me, it's too small for much else. I guess it could be for highlighter if you want it really concentrated, but I don't really want to wear my highlighter in that much concentration. I usually like a fan brush for highlighter if I wear it, which is not every day. I have been using Makeup Revolution. It's the Loose Setting Powder in Light Pink. I've been wearing this, um, setting my face with this with my Trigwell Puff, and it's it's pretty nice. I was really glowy yesterday and I'm not sure, you know, if it was the the foundation or, you know, the whole thing. So I, I normally like cream contour and cream blush and all that. Today I'm just going to go powder. So I'm going to go ahead and powder that foundation balm down and then we'll get powder, bronzer, and blush today. This Trigwell Puff is lovely. I got it off of Beauty Bay. I think you get two. But you can get the little velour puffs or whatever anywhere. But it just sets so quickly and nicely. Okay. Is that an eyebrow hair that's attached? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I did not put on brow gel and my eyebrow hairs are like, we do what we want. Let's see here. Oh, it's, you know, it's going to be a good day. <clears throat> For bronzer, let's use, I have been loving this BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle palette that I picked up at TJ Maxx. I see why people really, really like it. I really do. And I am happy to have this. Which brush am I using? I think I've mixed up my powder and 
and bronzer brushes too much. I think this is powder. And this is bronze. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I've been using the batter one. Hello, Leanne. The batter shade here. But like, I think that's just like a powder. Okay, just trying it. Just trying it. Okay. It's, see, it's kind of like a, there's like some flavor to it. It's really pretty. It's, it hasn't beaten that W7 like Charlotte Tilbury dupe that I got from Christy. That is like really good. Okay. See, but that's really pretty. There's like a ruddiness to this one, the batter shade. It doesn't look like it in the pan, but it's it's slightly pinky. Slightly pinky. That's really, really pretty. I like that. Okay, blush. I've been using this baked blush from Essence like so much. I'm going to move to something else for this moment because I have been using it every single day. Let's, you know... <laughs> Let's go. This is from She Glam. This is Don't Pink Twice. It's one of their Love Dive Tender Heart Powder Blushes. And it is, it's here. Um, so be prepared. We're going to use a floofy brush and attempt to not overdo this. But, you know, hoo -hoo, my goodness. Yeah, we're going to tap some of that off. But here we go. I love blushy cheeks. I think it's adorable. This one is bright, but I love bright. Why not? Okay. Cute. Let's do some highlighter. Big old one on. Now, I do have this super pinky one. Let's use it. It's, I mean, we're unicorns today. Oh, I haven't opened it yet. This is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This is Baby Doll. Um, it is a super pinky loose highlighter. Oh, my gosh. It's still got the... There we go. Okay. Success. Great success. Okay. Now, I've got it everywhere. Let me clean myself before I... Get it even more everywhere. Oh, it's really pink. Nah! Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, the other place I want to put it is right... here right there oh yeah I know it's insane looking I don't care I'm gonna have a good day with my makeup I am gonna blend though with a bigger brush and then we're gonna spray I love my new Japanese spray because it's gorgeous and like an aerosol like it's there's still a smell, which I'm not a fan of, but I do like the aerosol. Okay, somebody asked if I used that Wanna Wrestle Wet n Wild setting spray up, and I did. I am going to go over empties pretty soon, but I did use that thing up. Man, that was a labor of not even love. It was a labor of hate. But I was going to use it because, boy, howdy, that thing stunk. But it's gone. Hallelujah. It's gone. But I was like, yay, I used that up. Now I can get my Wet n Wild Sesame Street, the count spray, and put that. No, the sprayers are different sizes. I can't use that. And it was sort of decanting the count on me into another bottle, which I don't want to do because the whole purpose of buying that spray was for the count. I, this is just, I, I'm going to come up with it. I'm going to fix it. I don't know how, but I'm going to fix it and it's going to be fine. So now I've got to go compare all my Wet n Wild sprays to see which one is the same size as the Wet n Wild count on me. If you didn't know, the spray 
nozzle was missing from mine and it spilled everywhere all over my bag on the way home. It was a whole thing. There's a whole story. That was it. That was literally the story. Okay, do I want eyeliner? I don't think I do. I wore wings yesterday and I liked them, but I don't think I want eyeliner today. I think I just want mascara and I don't want under eye color either. I think the highlighter is enough. So let's do mascara and lips and then we'll be done. I love this look. It is so cute. Um, I do hope that I'm not late for work. I've just been sitting here chatting to y'all like I have all the time in the world. And uh, I don't. So, Jason and Becca, if you're watching this, if I'm not in that meeting right now, it's because I'm sitting here, you know, hanging out, talking to y'all here instead of there. Woo wee. I read, I finished uh, a fan fiction last night. It's a. Harry Potter fan fiction where Draco and Hermione are together. It's lovely. I love them. But it was a long one. And it was uh, not a happily ever after. And I wasn't, I, I didn't know. <laughs> so I cried and cried and cry. It was like the audible boo-hoos. Like it wasn't like a couple of tears slipped out. Like I was crying. And uh, Mr. Mugwump was sitting on the other end of the couch reading what he was reading and he looks up and I'm <laughs> you know the whole heaving the whole thing. And he's like yard over there? <laughs> I was like no. No I am not. Uh, we've got emotional damage now. <laughs> like we, we are not doing well. It was very good. It was a very, it was very well written. I really enjoyed it. But boy, howdy, was that emotional. This is that M Milani highly rated mascara that I am a super huge fan of. This is one that I definitely would repurchase like on purpose. Like it's, it's beautiful. It's a great mascara. Okay. There's that. I think I'm going to tight line real quick too, just to darken up right underneath those lashes. This is the Makeup Geek eyeliner. I don't know if they still have products available. They they are going out of business and selling off all their product. And last month I placed an order and just got kind of one of everything that I would want to try. And a black eyeliner was, I don't know, $2 and it's been quite good. Okay. I think that looks really good. I think that looks really cute. Let's do inner corner and I want something super bright and flashy. This is like a super white. There's no flash of a different color. It's just white. So let's find my inner corner brush because there is a specific brush for that. There she is. There, this is it. It's the inner corner brush. I don't know if you have one or not, but this one's mine. It's just bright white. And it's gorgeous. Yep. Love it. Okay. Whoops. I, look at this color. Yes. Okay, this is from the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I love these. They stay a long time, which is wonderful. This is in the shade 100 Philosopher. I don't know if this, I don't think this was a limited edition color. They have some limited edition colors, but I don't think this is one. So let's see how she goes. Gosh, I look so smooth where that primer was. That's cool. This is a grayish color. Is that weird? Yes. Do I look dead? Also, yes. Am I a fan? Heck yeah! <laughs> I love that. I think that's so cute. Like, why not? It's a Tuesday. Wear your purple lipstick. <laughs> why not? This stuff literally wears like iron. I love it so much. This is like the only 
formula that I wear, like a red lip nowadays, because it won't go anywhere. There's the look. I love it so much. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for getting ready. Thanks for chatting. And l l tell me what you're, you're wearing t today. What eyeshadow palette or shadows did you use today? If you didn't use any, what are you going to plan on using tomorrow? Let's use our makeup. Let's get, let's get cute and let's have a good time. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you soon.